Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I hope you guys are warm. Um, good morning, Amber. Good morning, Sue. Good morning, Beth. Good morning, Lisa and Piper. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope Piper's using her tray for you. Oh no, Beth. Beth woke up at six o'clock this morning with a temperature fever. So oh, sorry, Beth. I hope you're feeling better. I'm not sure why you've always lived in Michigan either. Maybe that's why you're running a temp this morning. Your body just knows that it's always going to be cold. this to you guys but it was my Christmas present from Drew um, but it's electric it's got a little um, my battery is charging right now plugs it into a power bank and it's got a little, little thing and then the whole thing heats up so it's pretty pretty nice especially when we've got the dogs to to go out go call outside we, sometimes we have to make some laps around the house and encourage them to come back in. Not so much when it's so cold, but the boys can be a little, they can surprise us sometimes. I am doing just fine. May is making me a caramel macchiato. It's right, it's right there. I know, I'm so excited. She's so sweet. She asked if she could make one. And I told her as long as she cleaned up after herself. And she, um, I didn't realize she was gonna make one for me too. It was really nice of her. How's yours, May? Is yours okay? How's your, did you make it? Okay. I haven't tried it yet, but oh. she gave the credit to that because he didn't let me make it. Well, you were, oh no. Well, I didn't have she, there was a little confusion on the cold versus the hot. Oh. What? You didn't. Yeah, yeah, the didn't. order is a little all bit I, different. All I needed to help with was. Rosie, you're so snuggly. Was taking it out of the microwave and, and how much I should put. She's a good girl. Um, <laughs> so we have had, um, this yesterday or the day before, but I just wanted to say it again. We've had, um, we continue to have a big influx of, um, new viewers. I just wanted to say, um, welcome to all our newer viewers. Uh, yes. very happy to have you here. Um, we have a really wonderful yeah, well, community. Yeah. Um, we raise our puppies specifically to be emotional support animals. And so we have a lot of families who come to us um, that um, are going through a lot or um, oftentimes they have a mental health diagnosis such as um, anxiety disorder, depression, PTSD. Um, we have actually quite a few PTSD um, situations. Um, but what's been really nice about that is that a lot of the families that we, um, you know, work with, raise their puppies, um, we set up the live stream so that they can check in on our puppies. And we have a really wonderful group and community that has kind of evolved with this because um, everybody's also understanding and compassionate for everyone else. And it's really grown a really nice, warm community. So um, I know actually like anxiety, um, um, it can be kind of intimidating to start chatting up in the live chat. So I'm sorry Spike is barking so much. He, Missy is in heat and so he's just, he's always going to be, um, until she's no longer in heat. This is Missy, alpha girl, and Spike is our alpha boy. So she's in heat. Um, Spike doesn't like it when she's on break. He wants to give her puppies. <laughs> um, 
Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, so it can be, the chat can be kind of intimidating, but um, our, our mods um, are really supportive and they're really warm and welcoming. Um, our mods are uh, Sue K, Sue, Sue Katie is her full name, um, but Sue Jan, um, I think it just says Jan, and then um, Lisa Crane is our other mod. They have wrenches next to their name, so you can identify them. Um, but even if we're not like sitting down and talking to you guys, you can ask questions in the live chat. Um, a lot of times the mods will know answers to a lot of the questions. Um, they usually have a pretty good idea of, you know, when puppies are expected, um, what moms are gonna be up on next. Um, they, have, they are pretty knowledgeable about um, what we have going on here. Um, but you and I also will, um, as we pass through, we'll check the computer, we'll check the, the little chat, the live chat, um, and we'll try to answer questions. Uh, you know, if we have a moment, we'll all like turn around and come back in and um, sit down and, and chat for a few minutes about um, whatever has been asked. Um, and then we'll also, whenever something is kind of relevant that comes up, if we're over they're doing dishes, and um, I think, so the other, just a couple days ago, Missy and Robin got into a little, a, a little bit of a, an aggressive argument, and um, so we stopped what we were doing, and then we, we sat down and talked about, um, you know, how to manage that. So, um, the live, I think that there's a lot of, there are other puppy live streams, but I don't think they're like, as interactive. Um, we like to kind of explain to you guys what's going on when um, the dogs are doing something that's a little different than just uh, normal pet behavior. Um, it's also one thing that Drew and I have noticed is that ever since we started with the kitchen like this, um, he and I have been able to get a much better understanding of the dogs, their dynamic. You know, we had our own understanding just based on our experiences with the dogs. What are you doing? Oh God. Why are you peeing in a blanket? <sighs> Mocha. <coughs> this is where you potty. This is where you go potty. Potty. Where you go potty. Yeah, Mocha's always so good. Or she needs to. Um, um, and then to all of our to all of our channel members, um, uh, or I should say, we do offer channel memberships. Um, and with the channel memberships, um, the lowest tier is ninety nine cents. And um, what we have really liked with the membership is uh, for our members we have um, because of the like the nature of our channel and the live stream kind of always being on um, we did run into a bit of a problem with um, being able to communicate with you guys when the live stream can't be on so like if we're having um, internet issues or if something happens and we just can't get it on um, there's a we created a forum for um, channel members to be able to get together for a place for everybody to find each other and um, talk about what's going on. Um, YouTube doesn't have very good, like, direct, like, in yeah. terms of, like, social, um, there's not very, there's not really a very good way to, you know, there's no messaging options. Um, and so the forums were, they've been really nice to have. Um, and so for any of our channel members, if you haven't yet done so, you should head over to our website, RiverCavaliers.com, um, and create an account on there, and we'll approve your account. Um, the one caveat is that if you have a name, if your YouTube name is like Mr. Potato Head, and you create an account on our website, and your name is Jill Smith, it's going to be really difficult. Uh, matched Jill Smith to Mr. Potato Head. And so um, let us know if you're, if you become a member and um, when you 
update your account. Um, next time you're on the live chat, just let one of our mods know, let us know that, hey, I created my account on your website, but this is my YouTube username, so it might be hard to find me. Um, that will make it a hundred times easier and a whole lot faster. Um, because we do get a lot of spam or we get people who don't quite understand what the form is for. Sometimes they'll think it's like a contact form. Um, so it's just easier to match some of those um, some of those accounts up because if you're if your channel member we want you to be able to receive all the benefits. So um, definitely let us know if you're having trouble getting approved for the website. Um, we receive we have a whole lot of spam in there that we're working on clearing out. Whenever we clear it out, then more comes through. So um, we've got about 300 requests in there that we're sifting through right now. Um, and so it takes a little bit of time. Um, and so it just speeds it up if, if you can point out like this email address is mine. Um, because I don't think we, we don't think we've got all of the members approved at our forum. And so I know there's a few floats in there that do belong um, in the forum. So but we raise ESAs, emotional support animals. Um, we have a few right here is Maze. This is May, my daughter. Um, Paris is May's ESA. May is Paris's favorite person. Um, one thing that's really great about Paris though is whenever we have people over, um, Paris is such a She's such an empathetic dog. If dogs can feel empathy for any version of it, Paris has, like, her empathy meter is up here. Um, she is, we'll have people come over, and um, Paris will be sitting with them and hanging out with them, and she will love on them so much and so sincerely that on... Um, from several different people, we've had them come to us and say, well, I don't know if uh, if May is really, truly Paris' person because she seems to really take liking to me. And um, it's it's so nice to hear that that's how, that's how loved Paris makes people feel. Um, but we hate to, we are also the, we hate to, we are also the bearer of bad news. The point is that um, the Paris, that's just how loving she is. Um, <laughs> Paris is, she's such a good dog. She, she loves everybody, but at the end of the day, um, when it's time to go to bed, she's only going to go upstairs with me. She's not going to go home with anybody else. Who's a good Remy dog? Hi, Paul. Hi, sweet. Hi there. Um. And so when we first started getting our dogs, we were first looking for a dog to help our family. Our son had just passed away. Everybody was grieving in their own ways. And Matthew had been, with his disabilities, he had been such a focal point. Um, everything in our lives kind of centered around him. And, and so he wasn't here to center everything around. And everybody was grieving in their own ways. We were really all kind of falling apart. Um, and so we were going to get a dog to try to help bring back something familiar that we can all relate to that brings us back again. And uh, research brains, we found Cavaliers like over and over again. Their King Charles Spaniel would be best for our situation. Breeders, and um, it was man, it heck to find a decent breeder. Um, but through all of that trial and error, um, we learned so much about the breed. But we also kind of saw the different breeding. We kind of got a peek into, so we spoke to so many breeders. Um, and we've been to so many now that we've gotten a pretty good feel for how a lot of breeders run things. And there were just a lot of things that I don't want to, so I don't want, I want to, Toe the line between talking bad about other breeders and just the things I wanted to improve, or we wanted to improve. There were just some um, some little things that, you know, when looking at the whole picture, they were just small, minor little things that, you know, they've been breeding for 20 years, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Um, 
you know, because they're they're doing right in so many other ways. Um, there are some things that we kind of saw over and over again that we just really felt there's got to be a better way. Um, one of the big ones being that mm-hmm. um, we really felt that um, they didn't have to be in basements or in crates um, mm-hmm. for their lives. You know, like they're mm-hmm. not that the breeders, mm-hmm. they didn't leave them in crates for their lives, but you could, I could tell that that was kind of, you know, when they were actively engaged with them, that's where they went. And, um, you know, and I don't just like puppies, I mean, just like the pack of dogs. Um, um, a lot of them just used um, sperm donors. They just um, did like the artificial, a lot of, a few of them did the um, artificial insemination. And so they didn't have the issue of stud dogs. Um, but we really felt like there's got to be a way to have them still be part of your family um, and raise really great puppies because my, um, in, in terms of raising the puppies, you're, you want to prepare them to go home to a family and um, basically just be mm-hmm. kind of put away in a room as they grow, um, that's not, I, we just didn't feel like that's really preparing them to be with families. Um, you have puppies down in a basement so that the poop doesn't smell up your house. Um, you know, that was another thing. And that was where we, um, we did some research on that and we found the, the pellets. Um, the pellets, we credit the pellets a ton for allowing us to be able to have our puppies up in the house because, um, when they are pooping and peeing in a pen, I mean, no matter how much you scrub the floor, they walk through it and they, you know, it gets in their nails and then they'll climb on the, the pen panels and then it gets in the, in the little corners of the pen panels. And so you can only clean so much and the smell is still going to be there. And so that was one solution we found was the pellets and that really allowed us to our puppies in our house where the family was and how to be part of the family. Like learn what it's like to be living in a house. Um, one disconnect we saw with spill my coffee everywhere. Um, one disconnect we saw with a lot of readers was um, you know why are, why is everybody in the basement if um they're going home to families where they're not going to be in a basement. You know, that just I don't, it didn't make sense to me. But um, I think that I don't think any of the breeders that we need. Um, the breeders that we had some of these like issues with, none of them we felt like went into it planning like, I want to stuff my in the basement. I don't think that was the case at all. They were all really wonderful people doing like the best that they could with what they had. Um, I just think that it kind of evolved into that. Um, you know, they probably were having more puppies than they expected and you know, they're just trying to make it work. Um, but, and, and they seemed to, they really were doing the best that they could. They brought the puppies up as much as they could. Um, the more that the basement was the whole thing that east. And so, as Drew and I have kind of been hurt our own way of, of raising puppies, um, and not just raising puppies, but maintaining what all in between litters. Like, you know, right now we're not going to have a litter for a few months, but we still need to take care of our, our dogs and keep everybody healthy and happy. Um, and so, um, it took a little while to find a good balance, um, and that's how we developed our stuff room with the boys. Um, we got three boys, hey. which we'll be reducing to two because one of those boys is an up and comer to replace another one. His daddy. Yeah, his daddy. I love you. I love you. Oh, man. You know, zap there. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Doggies are. Ah. Um, and so we've got. Uh, I'm going to try to get them. And then we've got um, most of our moms. In here in this kitchen area, 
off to the right here is our laundry room. And so that goes through that they have another tray, a pellet tray in there and water and more beds. Um, and then there's a pocket door that opens up to what we call the doggy bathroom. And it was probably there were two bathrooms. And that was the bigger bathroom. But it was like really big and too big. Flush. Oh, um, this is perfect. Gosh. Got my spray bottle. Got my spray bottle. So they have um, quite a bit of space. I know you can't see it down through here, but and then through the doggy bathroom, they've got another pellet tray. Um, we converted the shower into a a dog shower. We installed. Um, one of those like doggy shower bathtubs that you see in like the groomers. Um, and so it's been really nice because whenever we are going around doing like hygiene sort of things where we got to move our way around all 12 dogs, um, you know, we can do all that in that spacious bathroom and we can just slide the packet door open and pull the dog in and slide it down and swap them out. Um, it has been converting that bathroom to a doggy bathroom. It's been a really great decision. It's worked out really, really well. Um, don't be chewing up my water bottle. But ESA dogs, um, Mocha is Drew's ESA dog. And Daisy Doodle over here is my ESA dog. And so these guys sleep with us. Um, Vienna right there playing with Mocha. She sleeps with Bella. Paris sleeps with May. And so during the day, they also kind of follow us everywhere. Um, they are really, really good dogs. Um, probably about half the families that come to us looking for a puppy, um, looking for an ESA specifically. Um, the other half, they're just usually looking for a really, just a really good family dog. Um, we will, we see uh, retired couples that are retired, kids are grown, um, a lot of times they have grandchildren, and they're just looking for like something just a little, they just want to add like a little bit of excitement. Um, maybe excitement's the wrong word, but um, maybe something, um, I don't ever like experience where you're like working a lot or you're in school a lot and then suddenly like everything you finish, you finish your classes or you retire from your job and you wake up one morning and it's all. Sometimes with retired couples, I think with the the kids being grown and the grandchildren being young, um, and then having a dog, like in between seeing, um, you know, gives them something to do, gives them, um, you know, someone to look after. Grandparents have usually spent their whole lives looking after somebody, something, you know, for their children and then their grandchildren. Um, and so I think when retirement comes, it it can it's fulfilling to. Um, have something to look after that returns so much love. Leaders are, um, they really, um, I like to say that they find their happiness just by making people happy. It's like that's what's going, they know that that's what's going to make them happy. And so they will spend their whole day just trying to make you laugh and smile. And they're such good dogs. They are such good dogs. Yes, you are such good dogs. Paris is a good dog too. Yes, yes. Myra, no, you're so smart, but no, you're so smart. 
You're so smart. You know you can come out that way, don't you? You're putting on a little weight, Robin. Do we need to come back your food? Huh? What about you, Remy? Huh? I see your tail's growing back in. Yeah. <laughs> 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 He doubted you? Yeah, he didn't think I did. Daisy! That does not sound like a little over. He's like, I am too cool to be in here. No, we are not. Oh, Robin! <laughs> <laughs> 
Good girls. Good girls. Good doggies. Oh, careful, Mariah. Right? Careful. Oh, a little bit lower. Good girl, Robin. Good doggies. Good doggies. Good girl, Ferris. Hey, you too. All right, time to put the laser light show away. Here we go. One last one for Robin. You're good doggies. You have to put it away because Mocha's getting a little, little, little aggressive there. They're still looking for it. I know, they're, they're going to be looking for it for a minute.
Probably. Sorry for the noise, guys. I'll be quick. Like a band-aid. Well, I'll try it. I promise I'm trying to improve the viewing experience. I know. I want to just pick the video. Hold Just something underneath it. Apparently, can you? Yeah, thank you. So, oh, I kind of like that. A little bit higher. Yeah, I thought the height was going to be a negative, but it's actually pretty good. Just a touch of a bird's eye view, but it. I don't know. I feel still, like it gives a little more. Feel... It still feels like you're a fly on the wall with the dogs. Let me go down a little bit and see. That's better. I think the higher the better. Yeah, because you're not you're actually lower than that the table now. Yeah. And they're gonna be able to get to that. I think that you're better off with that high. Then you clean this guy off so you're not take it off. Well, but I mean if they were to get to this here, does it matter? Well, but uh, what I mean is the core, they can still come over here and yank it out, where if it's up higher, um, they're most likely to do that. And Rami's ready to make friends with the lens. Thank you. Sorry guys, this is what we were using. Sound familiar? And so this should be a little bit better. This is quieter. It's heavier so the dogs can't move it. I said I'm gonna dry it off. Yeah, I would just uh however you end up pointing it, like if it's in the corner. What's the Oh, maybe um, base your Daisy. Can I show Daisy? Daisy. <laughs> All done. Let's say, yeah, base how you angle that off of it being stuck in the jam to the corner. Can I hold it for you? 
I'm just trying to. Remy, no. no. I know, you just, you really didn't like, or acting like you want to go outside, but okay, you didn't so that... leave the porch. It's cold. It's very cold outside. I know. You want the boys to come in? Did you try Mayday's, uh... The caramel macchiato? Yeah. Yeah, it was perfect. Good. Good. This is a little too high. So it's, you know, it's better than the other stool, so... Oh, jeez. His room is probably like 60, man. 60? Yeah. Last night was pretty chilly. Yeah, yeah, it was probably about 60, really. Wait, can you come around and see if that's something? Oh, we Good have there. snow day. No. No, it's more than Right there. You happy with it? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right there. Okay. I don't think there was nearly as much planning with the other one. Yeah, I can, but that's okay. That's a good thing. We are still working too on um, setting up the the stud room live stream. Uh, the cold snap has kind of put that into the back seat for now because um, we're actually working on moving the kitty cats into the Four Seasons room. So Drew's building cat trees and all that good stuff. So they can get up high. Because the silly cats, we have a space heater in there for them, but they won't go hang out by the space heater. They don't like being around. Actually, you know what the point They want to be Alexis. <laughs> So yeah, I don't know why they want to be in there so bad. Because that's like, that's where it's the coldest. Can I use that? Yes, you can use this now. Your room is so warm. So, we should have a lot less issues with the table coming in and out of the kitchen, children. Thank you. Yes, Mike is not. Is it not get staying warm? Huh? Is your blanket not staying warm? I don't have a blanket. Oh, do you want the white? Yeah, the white uh, battery. I don't need it. Is is two enough, or do you did you do more? No, two is good. Okay. Kristen says she likes it hot. Oh, thank you, Kristen. Thank you for that feedback. That is helpful. I like that it's like a little bird's eye view, so you can kind of see, you know, if there's doggies behind. But it, oh, yeah, it provides nice. it provides a lot more context. Yeah. To what's I like it the most. Like I was thinking about when I get ice cubes from the fridge for the dogs. Like, yeah. You can see that whole thing. That. Oh yeah, I guess you, you will be able to see that over there. Hey, you, laser. I gave the dogs a little bit of laser up show. Oh, did you? And then until Mocha, oh, she's boy. becoming the aggressor. I last the three times I've had to shut down early so that she goes after me. Really? Yeah, she's got a thing with Remy now, and I think it's she's seven years old, and she's probably approaching her heat cycle. And the order of it's Myra or Mocha. I'm going from the bottom to the top. Yeah. Mocha, Myra. Vienna. Oh. Vienna's down there with her. Oh. Even though she's been here longer. She's a puppy, basically. Oh, you know, she yeah, I guess. Sorry, no, that's, yeah, you're right. Vienna's down there at the bottom, and then Myra. I think that Remy is at the bottom, and so I think Mocha's just working her yeah. way up. She's challenging Remy now, but it's, I don't know. I don't really want to be the one refereeing those disputes because I think she's going to have to, Remy's going to have to um, cave to Mocha because yeah. Mocha is fairly. Yeah. You got to ask me. Those are oh, my... oh, oh, sorry. Yeah. I didn't May. Yeah, they're in May's backpack, so they're old. Bradley, they're old those are those are so old. If you want, uh, those are from have... the cafeteria in sixth grade. 
Is that, oh, wait. Are you saying oh, it's okay the, if he has one? Yeah, is it okay if he has one? The, yeah. the television? Yeah, the television. Is it okay if he has one of those? Yeah. Okay. Are they the same? Yeah, they're the same, dude. The packaging might look a little different because it's been stored away, but the. Two years. Or probably. If it's not open, then it's just fine. No. Yeah, it hasn't upset. Yeah, well, you eat this if I open it and he doesn't want it. Yeah, that's fine. What if I check it? Open it and check it. Mm. Really, they're both fine. They're both like the same. Uh, your sister is giving you one and you. Oh my gosh. Definitely not a dog. It's every bag. 
every bag. Every bag has one of these tiny little holes in it. Are you guys coming out the ones that are good and not? You can see where it tried to fight right here. Yeah, you see there's icon on these lights. Eee. 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 Yeah, he had a little heyday. He's been in here for a minute. Well, so, how long has it been? There was the box was out here and then how long, how long ago was it put in the I don't know. Well, the good ones that got cheesed up, I don't know. Never get here. We're good. No, like the ones that I like. I know, but that's what I'm saying. There are good chips over here. You're okay. Yes, she's not making all the corners. She's not. She's not claiming that. When if she is, she's gonna come back because she's too much chip playing today. Go for the chunk. Will you? I offered to cut it up and cut it off and put it in the oven. What's the problem? Because it ripped like that? It ripped. It 
Cereal that we had yesterday? I you liked it. Because I'm not hungry! Oh. Yeah, you know that Yeah, I'll leave it though. Elizabeth, do you want some uh, so 
You want some of the chili? Can I have it in my Nesquik cup? Hot chocolate or chocolate milk? Hot chocolate. Um, or you can have something for me if I'm The juicy food snacks are the best. You know that. Uh huh. I think you keep that. Probably because it's out of the Hey, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. What is this for? Hot shop. I have a cup. That's not very good. Yeah, the koala's bald. Is Brett, are you having an S Huh? Yeah. You're having an S Now that I have the for take or whatever it is, I also Reese's coffee. Uh, Oh, 
Probably because the newer ones have more scent and smell those ones there. Newer ones can smell fresh. Without it touching your tongue, it doesn't hurt. Dad, dad. Mm -hmm. 
It makes more young. Have you heard about gay man curling? Oh my god. Vienna. Why is the end? Why is the end the color black while the rest of it is red? Why is the end the color black but the rest is red? Black, brown. What is black? black. Oh. I think I know why. Because of it, oh, wow. Oh no, this is a plastic straw! If it melts. What will happen if I get this? Which is Here, Your balls, my friend. Yeah. Oh, I don't need to Are you winning, 
It's negative five. Tomorrow it's gonna be no. Wait, that's the day after. Today was the coolest of this Yeah. This morning at seven o'clock it was negative four. Is it? Uh, sorry, is it Sunday? Yeah, Sunday. What? This morning it was negative fourteen at seven o'clock. Oh yeah, it's Sunday. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's Sunday. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. And tomorrow it's only going to be negative eight. Oh, that's the low. Mm -hmm. What we need is for the wind to stop falling. Oh, yeah. Wind chill warning. Wind warning. What if one day the wind warning was. Was five hundred miles per hour. Uh, would our houses blow away? Oh, uh, yeah. They would. Oh, yeah. Would we survive? Not winds like that, you would blow away. But what if we were in our house? Um. Would we survive? No. But we would be in our house. Yeah, but it's not like the house is just going to like stay together and fly away. <laughs> this is not the Wizard of Oz. But I want to see the Wizard of Oz. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, I do. I know an interesting fact about um, the Wizard of Oz. What? The costume for oh, yeah. the Cowardly Lion. Mm -hmm. You know this, this one? I know the metal guy. What about it? Ooh. Oh, you, you know the snow that they used? So. The soap, yeah. Um, it had like a cancer thing or something <laughs> like that. I don't know. Oh, the nice thing about the. So the, the cowardly lion, the actor had to wear the lion suit. It was made out of an actual lion fur skin. Oh yeah, and he started sweating a lot. Yeah, it was very hot. Yeah, so what they said. Oh, yeah.
Yeah. Here, Remy. Yeah, yeah. Remy, though. Remy. Yeah, only for Remy. Not Pop. No. Pop. 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 Yeah. I don't want the oil that's this with Nutella on them. Yeah. Are some broken? There's actually not that many broken. I need to uh, hit it with a with your hair dryer to warm up the. No. Dad, what? You know what sucks? Dad, we can just take those Dad. Dad, you know what sucks? You know how a full thing of Carter's room is always super cold? Uh -huh. I can't go in there to play my headphones. It's going to be freezing. Uh, uh, it's sealed up. Uh, yeah. I don't I don't think you need to be that picky but, about it. But I kind of miss it, so because it's, because it's so lasts so long. Let's go so far. Um, yeah. Where's the Nutella? Is there, is there no Nutella in it? Um, well, the Nutella wasn't very good, so I'm getting you fresh Nutella with your little sticks. Was it moldy? No. Was it old? Old. Here. Oh, oh. I'll carry this. Careful, careful. Uh, careful in the heels. And the <laughs> heels. Come on. Come on. Oh. 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 Monday. Bradley, your your gut was right about something. <laughs> <laughs> Next. 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 Know that I said we love these because I got her new and I didn't want to get in the head with that. Insight. 
Yeah. Oh, Remy, can you read that bed? Can you read that bed, Remy? Oh, Paris. Look at her. She's so cute. Yeah. We should put another doggy bed over her. Oh, we should. I kind of like that. Did I put that one over there? We have a dog bed in each of the little corners where the dogs are hanging out. There's people that say this isn't worth the money because um this it claims like for like in this game. Mm -hmm. I don't know why people would believe that when it's just a lotion. Mm -hmm. And so it's definitely like how much yeah. how long it goes and yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you know that on the app that I got with the trees, um, there's like a shop you can, um, with every tree that you earn, you earn like this whole country pack. And you can use that to discount um, purchases on your shop. Uh, yeah, you told me that. Yeah, and um, you can, I think you can make it free with the tree pack because it allows you to get so much. Um, but I haven't tried it yet. I have enough for for a couple things. Let's see if they will give me an entire time off or what. Hi Paris, how are you? Can you set this on the stairs? Uh -huh. Bellissa. Wait, there's different steps for different people? If there's not currently a bell step, sorry, bell step. Right underneath the truck. That's good. Um, it's intended, and so if you ever are walking up, the whole point is that when you're walking, this is what my parents did, and so I just kind of started doing it. Um, whenever I'm picking up it around the house and I find something that belongs to you that needs to go upstairs, I will come and put it on a step. But the point being that when you come over the stairs, you, if you see anything that's yours, you take it up with you. 
And then that way, you don't have to pick up all your things around the house. I don't have to put all your things away when I pick up the house. That's, but um, I do part way, and then you can take it the rest of the way and put it away in your bedroom. Yeah. I didn't know you have a like a whole system. I, I thought you just have... put this stuff on the. No, nope, that is my system. There's. Um, so now that you know about the system, <laughs> but now you can finish your half. Uh, the. I don't have room for the any sticks. Of it. Do you want me to pull the sticks out and put them in a baggie? No. I um my I have no room in my backpack at all. Oh, this is so gross. I bet if we were to clean off all these dots, all the Nutella, it would be like three. Oh, it would be. Oh man, May. It's like tapioca pudding. It's what? They're like those little lumps are all throughout. Oh. Have you ever yes. What happens when you leave things in your backpack? Oh, <laughs> well, I forgot about it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Still in the same way. I haven't opened it. Uh, it's made sure we don't it. You see it with the red sticks. <laughs> Alright, we can't forget yearbooks this year. Oh, yeah, this year, um, last year we didn't get a yearbook because I didn't have a yearbook this year, right? Um, last year we didn't get a yearbook because we didn't order it in time and then I went to order when they have the leftovers at the end of the year, they were already sold out. I so that's regret why my yearbook quote. You regret it? Yes. Why? Because it's cringy. Oh, didn't you just need to like pair with. Why? Chloe, yeah. It was like, it was about when the fire happened and I needed my cosmic brownie. Yeah, I can see it. How it when the season changes and you look back on it and you're like, wait a minute. Yeah, it doesn't live as long as you thought it would. <laughs> well, it's. Really Don't worry. It reads all the yearbook quotes. Um, I really doubt anybody does, but um, I am sure that you are not the only one. Oh, where's your your thing? Did you give this to you? So you... Oh, well, I'm gonna. Oh, so. gotcha. Where is it? I'll put this in its pocket. In the bedroom. Careful. How do you carry that? That's too heavy. Yeah it's, yeah, it's heavy, but just to, like lift it up a little bit, it's not too bad. That's too heavy I, for me. I hate having to take it from here into there because I really hate it. Maybe I need to start working out. That's too heavy for me. I was gonna get dressed. Oh, 
I have no plans of getting dressed today. <laughs> I, I always hated how on weekends I always had to get dressed. So now that I, hated that too I don't I have kidding. to get dressed, I take the opportunity. Are all the girls outside? Yes, actually. I don't want to leave them out for too long. When, um, I'm about to turn this on, so. Last night, right before I showered, I came down with my shower stuff, and he goes, are you showering again? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I showered last night. Yeah. I was like. <laughs>
time, so let's put it on these. Walked away when I said Vienna, and and I said I'm a bad mommy in my bed. You said that? Oh, mm -hmm. you're not a bad mommy. That was your great mommy. Okay. Vienna, you are a great mommy to Vienna. Vienna, Vienna, she loves you. You love me more than me. No, she doesn't love me more than you. She just knows that. Me and Dad are the top dogs. Daisy, get off. Oh, you know what? Maybe she needs a drink of water. You want to drink of water? No. Come on, sweetie. Here, come on over here with us. Come on with us. There's water in your guys' bathroom. I know. She just, well, she likes to come in and play with her friends, too. See? She likes to play with Mocha. I want her to be with me. So she can come be with you. Do you want me to come hang out with you guys? Mm -hmm. I love you. Can I read Paris too? Um, Paris right now is kind of afraid to go into our bedroom, so. Can I didn't bring any mocha? No, let's just keep it to be on Daisy because Daisy's going to come too. What? Daisy will be coming with us. So we'll just be on Daisy. You can come. I want three dogs. Uh, I want two people and two. There's two people and there'll be two dogs. Three people, three dogs. Where is the unicorn? Hi, baby. Vienna, Vienna, three dogs. Vienna, Vienna, Vienna. You're all good doggies. Are you keeping yourself clean, Missy? You're such a good girl. You're such a good girl. All right. Those wings. Mm -hmm.
Love you guys. I'll be back soon. Love you.
Um, yeah, that's everybody should be using their own chairs. <laughs> I met this person and I wanted to be friends with them, but they said they couldn't because their parents didn't allow them to. Whose who's parents didn't allow them to do what? Someone that, that I met on the oh. Yeah. Can we make one of the candies? Um, let's try it again. Dad just made some adjustments on the machine that I think might help.
Thank you. 
so cool. Hi, Remy. Hi, Paris.
WhatsApp. Are you stuck in there?
You're so funny, Grace.
Bella, stop running. Yeah, that's mine. Oh, oh yeah, no, she needs to come into the bedroom. Oh.
It's 54 now, Dad.
watch.
Hey, May. You. Ah, <laughs> 
Oh, no, 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 not that one. No, 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 use the, the other one. Use the box. Yeah, yeah, sorry. There's, there's uh, E. What do you want to
Does that involve taking care of the cats? What? Your specific plan? Did you take care of the cats? What? Your specific plan? Did you take care of the cats? No. Did you do any chores? Did you clean up any dog food? Oh, 
Hey, kids. Hey, Bella. Bradley. Bella.
it on. It's just a uh, cheese and bacon sandwich. Ooh. Yeah, I did not put anything on yours. Is mine, which one is mine? Uh, it doesn't matter. Go ahead and get yourself some chips and get that to you. Don't have the right here. I love you. How was your sandwich? Oh, Bella, come on, baby. Oh, what are you having for dinner? Uh, just a cheese and bacon. Uh, uh, cheese bacon sandwich. Yeah, cheese and bacon sandwich. That's why it's most chicken. Her sign blanket. What? Oh, no, those are flies. Yeah, those are French fries. I thought it was a croissant for a second. I don't know the way it looked like it was curving. Do you want to spread on?
I can't tell if that's how far. Well, she gets it. She gets it. She gets it. Yeah, 
Are you all done? Yeah, come on, let's go to the bedroom.
Okay, Bella, come on. I think too. What are you drinking that one?
Oh, <laughs> 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 
No. No.
Thank you. 
No, stop.
Yeah, no.
Diana, no.
No, 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 Vienna. Ah! <laughs> 
No, we are.
girl be Hannah. Hey, Bella.
Night, everybody.